Hey, if you're one of my oldies, you probably already know that the good folks over at the Embrace the Grain Facebook group have been hosting a Film of the Month project. Well, the film for the month of March 2022 was Kentmere 100. Now, I'd never shot this stock before. I'd shot Kentmere 400 in my Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim back in 2020 for a zine project, which I still haven't really done anything with, but that's a story for a different video. So, Kentmere film comes from Harm and the same people that bring you Ilford films. Kentmere is considered their budget line of films. I got a 36 exposure roll of 35mm at Midwest Photo for $5.59. Pretty similar in price to Fomapan and definitely cheaper than anything you're going to find from Kodak. And it's easy to find processing times for all the major developers on the Massive Dev chart or Massive Dev app. So to shoot this roll, I loaded up my Canon Rebel TI and headed out to the town of Bell Fountain, Ohio, which is less than an hour's drive from my house. Bell Fountain has two main claims to fame. It is home to the oldest concrete street in America and also the shortest street in America. I shot this roll at box speed and then developed the film in my kitchen sink using Kodak HC110 Dilution B. I scanned the images with my Epson V500 using Epson Scan 2 software. Stick around after the images and I'll share some more thoughts on Kentmere 100. <laughs> So I was generally pretty pleased with this roll of Kentmere 100. Has maybe a little bit more grain than what you might expect from a 100 speed film, but I don't mind a little grain. You might have noticed a lot of contrast in some of those images, but I think that has more to do with the lighting and the conditions I was shooting in. Plus, I like contrast anyway, so I was good with that. If you develop your film at home like I do, you'll be happy to hear that I had no problems loading this onto my reels. I use plastic reels. Sometimes budget films, if they're on a thin base, it can be kind of finicky to load onto the reels, but I had zero problems with that. And probably the thing I like best about this is this film dried completely flat, which made it super easy to scan. Just like any film, you can't draw a lot of conclusions after just shooting one roll. But from what I see so far, Camera 100 is not my favorite film. It's not my least favorite film, but it's somewhere in the middle of the pack. 
I liked it well enough though I definitely want to shoot it again which is good because I got two rolls of it at Midwest Photo, so I've got another roll of it to play around with. If you want to see how Kentmere 100 compares to another 100 speed black and white film, check out my video featuring Cosmo Photo Mono popping up on the screen now. And until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film!